how has my outdoor season been? Uh, started off short, or hasn't been the best, because uh, you know I came in a little bit injured with the wrist, and uh, just was tough for me. I don't know. I struggled a lot on 250F, just uh, trying to make things happen every weekend. And I think I was just overriding my bike too much, and about crashed every weekend. So that wasn't good. I was just kept hurting myself. And, It's never fun to do, so it's just a pretty tough struggle for me. You know, I've definitely had some good races, but it definitely hasn't been the easy too. Yeah. Decision to come on the 450 was kind of like, hey, come to California and test. And I was like, all right, you know, no one's going to pass up the opportunity to test the factory Honda 450. So kind of came out the first day and showed some really good speed. And by the end of the week, we were talking, doing the last four races on the 450. And so that's pretty much how it came about. All right, Justin, this is kind of a change for you out here on the factory Honda 450 instead of 250. Yeah, you know, I'm having really fun out here. The 450 is a big bike. Honda has a really good program, and uh, the bike's working awesome out there. Track's starting to get pretty rough. I'm just going out there and having fun. You're from eastern New York. Got a lot of fans out here. You feel real comfortable at Unadilla? Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's a lot of fans. I hear them cheering all the corners and stuff, so it's pretty cool. I'm just going to go out there and try and give them a good show. All right, Justin, well, good luck today. Thank you to Andrea Scanlon visiting with Justin Marsha, the fastest lap time in this practice session. Here we go into turn number one. It's Justin Marsha into the number one ride, his first 450cc run. And Marsha nailed it. Oh, my goodness, it's Justin Marsha. Down into Gravity Cavity, they come. And Justin Marsha, say hello to 450. An amazing that we are seeing the 17 of Justin Barsha up home. Barsha right now looking good under the bridge and cruising up into contention is Villapoto. He's really not that far back right now. One foot off the peg in the battle for the number one ride. He comes. Here comes the number two. And now he's moved up into that number one position. Dungey would love to get up behind the 17 machine of Barsha. Oh my goodness. What a major league jump. Ryan Dungey double. 17 machine. Here they come. This is a battle. This is an all new rivalry. Justin Barsha is shaking them up. And Ryan Villapoto has won moto number one. And I have never seen, and you said it, Rob, I've never seen Ryan Dungey so frustrated. In the end of turn number one, they come. Weimer came across the stripe first, but Alessi held on. And Alessi moves into the number one ride. Weimer into the number two position. Here comes Justin Barsha. Bam, bam. Here comes Barsha in the number three ride. Barsha trying to hold off the number one of Ryan Dungey. Justin Barsha is trying to run down the 800 of Mike Alessi. Here comes Barsha still holding on to the number two ride. Barsha still to the number two ride, but Dungey back into the number three. Here comes Ryan Villapoto, and he is checked out. Ryan Dungey is trying to get around Barsha, but Dungey tried to take a shot at him. This time it was Dungey that had a slip up and lost some valuable time getting ready to set themselves up for the sky shot. Rob Bytus, I think this is where Dungey's going to try to make his move. Dungey trying to get a wheel up on Barsha, and we are now 29 and a half minutes. Barsha is on the deck, and he went onto the inside of the racetrack, and then he goes down and hits the deck. Unfortunate for Justin Barsha after an epic battle between Dungey and Barsha as he crosses that finish line and things are going to get very, very interesting. Second moto, another pretty good start. I think I came out around second or third and then got into second and ran that for almost the whole race and then towards the end of the race uh, there's a little tabletop and there was a, a, a guy in my line and I kind of crossed over a little bit on the tabletop trying to shoot into the inside and me and Dungey came together and I ended up going down so kind of stunk but I ended up getting third in that moto too so 3-3 three, three for the day, third overall, it's uh, pretty awesome, I'm really happy with it. Justin Marshall!